Hey there, Friday email listeners. Today we're going to look at one of our top scholarly databases, and it's a huge index that goes over many different databases. And it's a little tricky to use, but it's very scholarly, and it's going to have this excruciating detail, and it's fabulous for finding scholarly works um, that are very hardcore related to typically the, the fundamentals of what you're looking at. Um, for examples, follow along with me. So go to Research Databases. This database is called Scopus, so we'll go to the letter S, and you can just scroll down, and Scopus is right here. When you first go in, it's going to ask you to pick an institution. I don't know why they do this, but um, you'll pick the University of Utah Marriott Library, unless you're in the Health Sciences, and then you pick Eccles Health Sciences Library. But they're both usable, and they both work for both of us. Now, when you're typing in something here, for example, let me show you an example with um, Garmin. Say you want to just go right in and find something about your company. This database doesn't quite work like that, and let me show you why. If you go in and type in Garmin, um, you're going to get some stuff, 107 articles, but it this isn't a business analysis database per se, unless Garmin, Garmin does something fabulous. But what you're going to see in here is a bunch of the different keywords that are related. And so the one that keeps on showing up is Global Position System, or Global Positioning System, sorry. Um, so in these scholarly articles, and you can see it's World Journal of Modeling and Simulation, Journal of Health Geographics, this is really serious scholarly stuff. So oftentimes, they are creating the information that the companies are going to then use afterwards. So let's go in, and instead of looking up Garmin, which we got 107 hits, let's do Global Positioning System. I'm just going to do System. I think it'll catch the systems. Now, the reason I put it in quotes is I don't want to find those keywords just about anywhere. I want to find that as a specific phrase. That'll work in Google, too. <coughs> Hello, I, I misspelled global positioning system. Let's try it again. Global. Did I get it right that time? This has no spell correction. So if you get zero results, okay. Now, when I typed in Garmin, I had 107 results. I put in the global positioning system, all of a sudden I get 35,000 scholarly articles. This is what I was looking for. Now let me show you a cool thing that you can do. Now a lot of these, this is sorted by date, and you're going to get stuff in here that is not going to inform you on your um, topic or your, um, your company practice. So what you want to do, especially in terms of Garmin, is what happened is all the iPhones and the Samsung Galaxies came out and they all have their own little GPS or some wayfinding system on them. So we're, if we're making a recommendation to recent events, Using this topic, you can go in and look at the date and then limit to, and you can see in 2012 there was 2,500 articles, and then just click on limit to. So that'll get you what's going on with GPS now, and then you see this cited by zero over here. You can sort the cited by, and what this means is even though this article was published in 2012 in Optics Express, it was cited by 17 other PhDs likely in their research and this helped them build their research. This is a very influential article. That's like 17 PhDs in Optics saying that your article was so good that they used it to build on their own stuff. This is where you would find the information on recommendations for your company is that cited by the most influential articles. You may have to do it in the last year, or you may be able to go back to like five years or something like that. But it depends on what you're looking for. So those two tips really work well. Now, for example, let's see if we can find one, because Garmin is very invested in um, personal stuff. So they're not interested in like satellites or missile direction. They're interested in, in people. So design and testing of multi-sensor pedestrian location and Okay, that sounds pretty good. So, oh, look at this. Universal patterns in human urban mobility. There's a bunch of cool ones that you can look at. I, I, I get away from myself. If you want to see one, this is an index, 
It's not full text, so you have to click on the Get It button. And it'll pop open a new window. And it'll tell you the full text is available here, or the full text is available here. And if you click on any one of these links, it should dump you into that journal's full text. And you should be able to see the PDF file right there. Hey, It doesn't always happen that way. That's why I said yay. So when you find an article, and I'll send you all an article from Scopus today, but when you find one, um, if, you, if you click down all of those windows and you can't get a hold of it and it's the perfect article for you, send me the citation. This is not necessarily an easy thing to do. Look at that. Adolescent females. And it's related to GPS and its health in place. So I think there's a lot of potential for the GPS, is what I was going to say. You could also look up a term. This was another question. If you just want to find... Um, a, a, an interesting term that is unrelated to any business whatsoever, so like cons currency manipulation, and you just want to find maybe like a history of it, um, you don't have to sort by date at all. You can do the sort cited by, and here's one that was cited by five people. It was published just a couple years ago, Currency Manipulation and World Trade. That is going to be an excellent article to look at. But if you're wondering how currency manipulation is affecting us, when you type in those search terms, also go down to this subject here, and you can view more, and you can view more. And so you can see, if you want to narrow it down to something, so currency manipulation and engineering, that might be about electrical engineering. So if you want to get rid of all of those and just go straight to the econ articles, then you can do it this way and just limit to. Because this has 60 to 70 million citations in it, you just want to narrow it down to your field of study. That's a good way of narrowing down as well. Um, I think that's just about it. So dig around in Scopus. Try typing in just about anything and see what you get. Remember to put phrases in quotes. And remember that if you can't um, actually get it, just send me the citation. And the citation, the most important thing, is the, the name of the journal, the date of publication, all this stuff, and the title. and I can track that down for you. So have a nice weekend. I hope you enjoy the article we send. It's going to be a very abstract one, and so just use it to support part of your argument. That's how um, the scholarly ones go. Have a good one.